Hey there everybody, Johnny T here, and today we got a pretty interesting uh, service, I suppose. Um, so I've got the Citizen uh, Blue Angels Skyhawk. This is, uh, I believe, from the 90s, maybe? Early 2000s, perhaps? Um, this is an older model. It's a very cool watch. It's got a slide rule bezel, um, which rotates which is pretty neat. It's got these really cool yellow arrows uh, in each corner. It's a bit worn, but it's running great. I have it set. Uh, the alarm works. It's keeping good time. It's got a uh, UTC 24-hour zone in the top right corner sub-dial. It's got an LCD in the bottom right. Um, and this changes depending on the mode, and you can change the mode by turning the crown. It's got two pushers. Um, it's got a calendar mode, three alarms, chronograph, timer, and then a set mode. In the bottom left, these three lines here are the power indicators, so it's keeping a very good charge. Um, although it did just lose... Oh no, it didn't, sorry. Uh, it's keeping a good charge three bars it's been at three bars for several days which is nice it does have a inner chapter ring um, which will do which is a chronograph it looks like miles per hour there which is nice yeah it's got good loom um, the watch face itself is that kind of translucent uh, solar panel watch face that citizen uses on a lot of their watches it's kind of opaque I suppose this uh, is technically an aviation piece. It's kind of uh, so. The Blue Angels is a aerial acrobatic team, and uh, this watch is uh, a sort of collaboration with them. The back of it has their uh, insignia, the Blue Angels insignia, which is very cool. It's a crest. The water resistance on this watch is uh, 100 meters. And the module uses is a C650. Very cool watch. So the problem with this watch is this crown is extremely stiff. And it doesn't like to pop out easily. I'm assuming the gasket needs to be serviced. So what I plan to do is lubricate the stem gasket here. So that this crown is, will uh, function better. And not be so dried out. Um, although, also, this is all an original. Um, this is the original stainless steel bracelet. It's a very cool watch. Um, it's probably worth around, I don't know, 200 to 300 on the used market. This one in this condition might be worth 2 to 250 They could be worth more if they're in better condition. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, split it. Uh, split the um, bracelet off like so. Hold on to this pin here. I'm going to get this in my vise, I think, just to kind of give it a get get better grip on it, because I get the feeling that this case back probably has never been opened. So with this, when it comes to this vise, you don't you don't want to press these pushers in. You might put too much torque on those and damage something. So we're going to want to probably move these up a little bit. Probably, yeah, about there makes sense. Uh, and then we just want to tighten it up. Make sure that these pushers aren't getting engaged. And uh, now I'm just going to get uh, just a standard, you know, uh, case back wrench. And I'm going to open the case back. And I'm going to try and figure out how to uh, pull this crown out. Oop, I just hit my head on the camera. Is it shaking now? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, oh, this isn't engaged, is it? There we go. It's going to be a little tricky. I feel like I never really fully get used to using one of these. Okay, let's see if it'll come off. Yeah, it's on there as tight as I thought it was. Interesting. 
Hmm. And these notches are pretty shallow, which is giving me some anxiety about torquing this too much. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going to work. Hmm, it's on there pretty tight. What am I going to do? I think I have to use my professional... My professional vice. I haven't used this in a bit. But sometimes I've got to resort to it. Okay, so what I need to do is... Um, this does twist off, does it not? I'm pretty sure this twists off. This is Citizen we're talking about. They wouldn't they wouldn't make fake um, notches for a press on case back. So what I think I have to do is uh, remove the band completely. Should be easy since these are drilled. Now, are these standard spring bars? Doesn't feel like it. Yeah. These aren't. They feel like... Well, they should be, shouldn't they? But they don't budge. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can I do this without taking it off the bracelet, I wonder? I mean, in theory, I should be able to. Let's uh, try and do this with the bracelet on. Um, I'm going to have to put this in probably with this contraption here. Let's, uh, there we go. Is this not tightened down at all? Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is just put the swatch in here like so. Well, that's interesting. Is this in properly? It is not. Okay, so this uh, has these four posts that are supposed to go in like so. Same deal. We don't want to uh, hurt our... Whoops. Um... Buttons, so we want to push these out a bit. Maybe something like that, perhaps. We also want to get this as level as possible. going to work. Hmm. I think I need to push these out just a tad more. Perhaps. Something like this, perhaps. Perhaps. 
try and get it as level as possible. I think this will do it, perhaps. And uh, we just want to spread these posts out now. Um, I believe there is a way to lock these in. Let's unlock those. So this watch is by no means level. Hmm, interesting. So what is going on? Why isn't this... I think I need to put these down all the way as well. And then now it is level, perhaps? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. So that is very, very well locked into place. Everything seems like it's quite level. So I should be able to get a lot of torque on this and uh, simply by pulling this wheel, it should unlock. So let's get this broken, shall we? Wow, just like that. <laughs> Uh, it's so easy. Okay, so it is it is hitting the bracelet on the other side, but now that I have it unlocked, I'm rather confident that I can uh, finish the job using my standard um, case pack remover. And we could go on from here. Very good. Beautiful. I might even be able to do it with my hands at this point. Yeah, this machine is is uh, worth every penny. And um, this one is a... I think it's Ling, Ling Hao 5788. In case anybody's curious. Worth every penny. Probably could have saved a couple scratches on this if I would have used it uh, originally, but... This watch is already pretty heavily used, so a couple a couple more scratches isn't gonna do anything. I mean, the K, the the bezel was worn the bits, so let's see if this will come off with my fingers now. Ah, uh, yes, look at that. Very nice. All right, good, beautiful. Okay. Do not put other than the battery des uh, designated. That makes sense. Yep. So the movement this is using is a C650. And all we're, work we're going to want to do today is remove the crown. Because I only have issues with the crown. The capacitor is fine. And I do believe I need to push this button to release this crown. That seems simple enough. So let's see if that'll work for me. Okay, so uh, your standard um, spring bar pusher appears to fit in here. Okay. Hmm. Still might be a bit too big though. Um I think I will get this back in my vise. Uh 
let's uh whoop. the adhesive just came off that darn it's annoying ah this one too well I guess I gotta glue those glue those back in after this it's annoying Okay, I'm going to try using a different tool, I think. Um, I think what I want to use is uh, maybe my Bergeon. Let's see if the Bergeon is going to make this any easier. Nope. I think it's too fat. Let's try, um, what are we going to use? Um, let's try this tool. So this is a dental tool. It's uh, thinner and than the other ones. Um, we'll use it instead. Hmm. Am I doing this correct, I wonder? There it goes. All right, got it out. Okay, so... So where's the gasket then? Hmm. Do I have to... Hmm. Let's remember how that goes in, shall we? So where is the... gasket? It's not in the crown tube. Hmm, which means it must be in the movement, maybe? No, it's not there. So it's got to be inside the crown then. Hmm. That's weird. Let's, um... Drop the movement on our pillow. Well, it's not going to work. Okay, so we got our movement. Okay, so what happens when we put the crown?
Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So it's for sure. Yeah. God, it's such a pain to remove. It's so it's for sure inside the crown. So how the heck do I get in there? Huh. I don't know. Do I just um just put a bunch of gasket grease in here? Well, there's going to have to be a part two because I'm running out of time, so I'm going to pause it. Okay, we're back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of this gasket grease inside of the crown. And then I'm just going to put it in this uh, crown tube and move it around and just make sure that it's um, you know properly lubricated is what I'm thinking. So... Uh, the way I'm going to get this stuff in there is uh, I'm going to use a, uh, I should probably use a very fine tip, um, dental tool, that's what I'm thinking. If I had a needle, do I have a needle? I do have a needle. A pin, a pin is best, actually, now that I think about it. So what I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just going to use a, uh, you know, a Taylor's pin, um, and I'm going to just uh, get some of this grease onto my pin. I don't need that much. I don't know, maybe this much, perhaps. Might be okay. Might be excess, actually, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to try and stick this inside my crown the best of my abilities which isn't great okay maybe I'll put it on the around it perhaps that should be okay right and now I'm going to put it in the crown tube and that so putting it in this crown tube is going to push all the um, grease inside of the crown now Oh, much better. Wow. That is night and day right there. Wow. And it comes out and everything. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so that's all I needed right there. Awesome. Um, I'm going to use... So I, I, I cleaned up around the... Uh, crown tube because there was some gunk there. I'm going to use this to kind of clean up the excess. Around the crown itself. And definitely on the crown because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Because I'm going to be touching um, Well, I should probably put finger cots on, but uh, I'm going to, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to put some finger cots on at this point. All right. So now all we got to do is, uh, that completely solved the issue. Now we just need to get the movement back inside the case. And for that, I'm going to use my hands. I'm just going to, uh, place it back in to the best of my abilities. Um, as carefully as I can using two fingers but first um, first thing you want to do is blow your uh, movement off just to make sure all the debris is off it blow inside make sure all the debris that may have gone in here is out um, did I touch the I think I might have touched the crystal, actually, maybe. Hmm. I don't think I did. Maybe I can just use this cloth and wipe in here really quick.
Yeah, that's all on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go ahead. So the crown goes in this way. Um, so um, hold on. These need to get pushed back. Uh, I do need a another finger caught for my other hand. Because I'm gonna gently, I'm gonna move this over like that. Uh, I just touched it. Okay. Anyways, plop it back in like so. Move it back into place. Put this, I'll put the spacer in after I get the crown back in. Okay, now I just need to put this back in, like so. Whoops. There we go. Okay, good. And then check the gasket. That is a huge gasket for a watch that's only got 100 meters water resistance. Oh yeah, this gasket's still very good. That is a huge gasket for this watch. Okay, just need to put the gasket back on now. There, <laughs> put the watch case back back on is it gonna go back on okay hmm maybe I should put a little bit of this gasket grease on here might as well since I'm here That should be enough. Very nice. Good. And uh, now I just need to um, tighten it back down with my case back wrench. Don't over tighten it, there's no need. Just enough so that it's snug. That's good. Let's see. Oh, so much better. Wow. Huh. It's all needed. 
This was so stiff earlier that I could not pull this crown out without putting a lot of force down. So I'm very happy about that. Right on. All right, cool. So that is how you uh, lubricate a uh, stubborn watch gasket. Now I'm just gonna put it back together. Put this pin back in here. Whoa, that's weird. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Good. Good. Beautiful. All right. Wow. <laughs> All right. So that's how you do that. Um, where are my calipers now? Because we want to do some uh, measurements on this and then call it a video, I think. Okay. Um, Zero. Okay. So what we got here is uh, it's about 43 millimeter case size. It is 15 millimeters thick. And it's um, the lug to lug is uh, probably around, call it, call it 48 millimeter. Very cool watch. I love the uh, the blue and the yellow. Um, extremely cool watch. I accidentally changed the... Uh, there we go. Get it back to Denver. Because I live in Colorado. So, beautiful watch. Um, yeah, like I said, it's probably worth around... Mm, yeah, 200 to 250 on this one. Because it's... It's got a bunch of problems. See how scratched up it is. But yeah, I'm very happy. Um, as you can tell, it's keeping very good time. Um, it's two. It says it's two sixteen at the moment, and uh, uh, it's one seventeen. What happened? Daylight savings, probably. Um, but it's it's off by an hour. That's just because it's set incorrectly because of daylights. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, like and su subscribe if this is interesting to you. Um, yeah, thank you so much for uh, spending your time with me. Kind of fixing a odd, a weird issue with this here uh, Skyhawk. So, have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one.